this human experiment uh, that, uh, that public health has tried in Toronto is not working. Uh, and it's not working uh, for the addicts that we need to find help for uh, in getting off of the substance. The addicts are at risk and so are uh, those in the community. Businesses uh, in this area, one in particular behind me, the building behind me, has spent uh, a half a million dollars just fixing things because the addicts are, are going into the stairwells, they're breaking lights, they're, they're, they're actually assaulting uh, people uh, as well. Owners of establishments here are being assaulted and being told to move out of the community. Uh, and I'm, I'm hearing that the, uh, the health department across the street have become uh, um, bullies as well. Uh, to business and are asking and suggesting that if businesses don't like it here, that they should shut down. Why don't you go into the safe injection site? Well, they're kind of full. And they're not open right now, I don't think. There's not enough hours to say Why would you put other people at risk I'm not by putting smoking anyone drugs out here? There's, there's nowhere else to smoke. There, there, there is. There's a safe injection site over there that allows you to do this. Why are you putting people at risk by doing this? They're barely ever open. And there's so many injection sites that are so called there, but they're not. Why don't you try and get off of the substance? I do. I am, as a matter of fact. You don't even know who I am. You don't even know my name. And you're smoking drugs right now in front of us. I am, because there's a per reason behind this purpose. But why, why, why aren't you trying to get off of the substance? Why are you I actually this? don't even use this substance. I use other substances. Why are people taking the drugs on the sidewalks? Because there's nowhere the to use it. They're full, and you're not allowed to smoke in there. That's only an injection site. It's not a smoking facility in site. Like there is, there is smoking ones, and there is, they don't have in Ontario. And then there's the injection sites, which is only like one in the whole downtown area. That's only open for a few hours. This is the only one that's open for as many hours as it is, and there's only a limited, very limited space. 